Hi there, kids. It's me, Miss Aubrey. I was just trying to play a game with myself and see how many marshmallows I could fit in my mouth. 100. Pretty good. Well, today we are going to play with marshmallows with physics. Very cool. Okay, first you need to go find a parent to help you with this project. For this experiment, you will need popsicle sticks, at least 12, a hot glue gun, a cup, scissors, pom-poms, and a wooden skewer. I use the pencil in a plastic straw that is bigger than your pencil or wooden skewer. First, plug in your hot glue gun and make sure it's really warm and ready to go. Um, since you're working with a hot glue gun, you can have your older kids help you um, I suggest if you're working with toddlers or preschool age, you do the gluing and then they can actually play with the catapult and the pom poms after it's done. So for me, my little guy Keegan is taking a nap upstairs. Shh, he's not allowed to play with this. First, um, let's get started. You will need three popsicle sticks and you're going to glue them into triangles, into one triangle this. Okay, there's one, and we will need one more triangle. So get three more popsicle sticks. Okay, there we have two triangles made with our popsicle sticks. Next, you want to get your pencil or your skewer, whatever you have handy. I just had this pencil and your straw. So you're gonna cut the straw so it's in the middle of your pencil or skewer. Okay. And place the straw in the middle. And so that way, if it's bigger, it has room to twist a little bit. Next, you're going to glue your pencil or skewer onto your triangles like this. Make sure that the base is wide, but not too wide. Okay, there you go. Obviously, it's pretty unstable right now, so you're going to get a few more popsicle sticks and glue them for the base to sturdy your catapult. And one more. Okay, little 
scientific error. I ran out of hot glue and I can't leave my house to go find some more. So I tried Gorilla Glue for my other catapult, which will take time to dry. So I'll show you the rest of the steps on the one that I've already built. So we finished making the triangles and gluing the pencil and making the base with these two popsicle sticks here and here. So the next thing that you'll need to do is you can get either the jumbo popsicle sticks if you don't have those. I just hot glued two together like this and it will make um, a thicker popsicle stick to use as the catapult. So here's this and you will glue that on the pencil, or sorry, not on the, on the straw, right here. Okay, once you have that done, you need to get two more popsicle sticks, or if you have a jumbo, just one. Hot glue those together, and you're going to take your, pops, your popsicle sticks that you glued on the straw, take your second one, and glue it on top of the first two. Okay, so that way you have more of a sturdy catapult. Last step, get a cup. I just have a plastic cup and cut it the bottom off so you have a perfect circular cup. Put some hot glue on there and glue it toward to the end of your second popsicle stick. Okay, and there you have a working catapult. Let's see this baby in action. Okay, so it's so easy, even a two-year-old can do it. Woo! You gonna try another one? Let's go physics. Oh! Oh! Cool? It's cool, isn't it? Oh, that one didn't go as far. Oh, that one went far. More? Okay, go get more pom poms. Okay, now that you've built your catapult and you've given it a go and tried to launch your pom poms as far as possible. Let's talk about the physics behind this sweet machine. All right, first, when you put in your pom-pom in the cup, you are giving the machine what is called potential energy. Potential energy. That is stored energy. It's what squirrels do during winter. They eat up a whole bunch of nuts and know where they store them in the tree so when winter comes, they'll have enough food. So here, we are storing up the energy. Next, we're gonna use the force from our fingers as we push the popsicles down. We are giving the machine elastic potential energy like a rubber band will snap. Ow, it has some energy. So here your force is giving the machine elastic potential energy. Next is the full cool fun part. Our last type of force is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy in motion. So remember, we first store up potential energy, use our force from our fingers as elastic potential, and then we transfer it to kinetic energy, allowing the pom-pom to shoot out of the cup. Let's try that again. Whoa! Okay, next fun game, grab a bag of marshmallows and see if your kid can put the marshmallows in your mouth. Okay, ready? All right, 
launch the marshmallows. Hey, launch the marshmallows. <laughs> what? I'll try. Watch. Go. <laughs> okay, go. Misty. You know what time it is. Clean up and dance time. Yeah.